Ahoy hoy! Carl, what up? <laughs> Molly Daniels, as I live and breathe, what are you up to on this fine day? I'm playing Alien Witch 5, Aliens vs Witches. I'm beating my high score and it's taken me nine hours. Nine hours? You've been playing that game for nine hours. Yeah, how funny is that? Time get away from me, Lamal. What a terrible use of time. What? You could have been doing so many other important things with those nine hours. What a waste. <laughs> Excuse me, what? I mean, you could have been reading a book. You've been reading a book. For the last nine hours, yes. Just a spot of the old literature. Not such a chore. <laughs> Minty. Okay, well, we both used our time to do things that we find fun. Cool. Good for us. Yes! They're not the same. Reading a book is educational. You use your imagination, expand your vocabulary, enter new worlds. You can do a lot of that stuff in video games too. Carl, are you crying out of passion? <laughs> no, you are. This video game is making me use my brain too. It's all about reflexes, problem solving, hand-eye coordination. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it is. Carl, what about this? When books started being published widely, like 500 years ago, people were worried they would rot kids' brains. What? How could a beautiful book rot your brain? And then they said the same thing about TV. Well, that is true. I do remember being told too much TV was bad for me when I was a kid. Hey, I am not 500 years old. And now they're saying video games will rot our brains. So? What's your point? The point is maybe all these judgments about video games being bad for kids aren't about video games at all. They're just people being afraid of new technology that they don't understand. Yeah, but video games can be violent and addictive. And sometimes people in multiplayer games can be mean or bullies. True, but there can be bad stuff in books too. Well, that is a good point. I did read this terrifying book once about a ravenous monster that would just eat everything in sight. Okay, we've talked about this. You were reading The Very Hungry Caterpillar, and it's literally a children's book. Hmm, so maybe it's not about whether it's a game or a book. Maybe it's about what's in the game or the book that really matters. That's a good point. What book are you reading at the moment? <laughs> Just a classic, you know, uh, 1001 toilet jokes that will literally make you poop your pants with laughter. How? dare you lecture me about reading keeping your brain active when you're reading a book of toilet jokes? <laughs> uh, sorry Molly, I believe I need to go and change. Uh, I'll talk to you later. I'm never calling you again. Short and girly.